Local filmmaker Nolan DeRazzo is essentially a one-man movie-making crew. In his first short film, Nolan talks about the process of how he goes about filmmaking. Well, it was a good learning experience because I wanted to shoot the thing in, well, we did in like a weekend, but it was really, it was a lot of fun. Like with everyone's first tried something, Nolan says he's gained a lot of experience from his first film, especially as a director. To make sure if I want something specifically, I really got to ask for it. I learned a lot from it. I want you to say it this way. I want give it this way, I want you to act this way. With no real production team behind him, Nolan had to fund his film on his own dime. With a tight budget, Nolan had to think outside of the box when it came to filming certain scenes. The biggest challenge was, I, I'm lucky I have a lot of family who let me use houses, so we had locations fine. And that was like the biggest challenge, was I wanted to do action. I don't mind trying to find makeshift ways to make things happen, like buying blood or Whatever. Nolan found inspiration for the film from multiple forms of media. He says his inspiration for writing comes from listening to things. He does cite one film that heavily influenced his own. Most of the time, my inspiration for writing something always comes from music. It was the, it was the main song of it. It was uh, Karma Police by Radiohead. I always, so I guess going back to influences, like a huge influence was uh, Reservoir Dogs. I've always been a fan of heist movies. But I've always been more of a fan of what happens after the heist than during the heist. Our, our film starts right at the end of a heist and them getting away. And I just like that. I like the aftermath. Nolan's love for indie films and low budget films are important to him. He says these types of movies inspire him as a filmmaker. Like, of course, like a Marvel movie or something where it's a million, you know, $300 million budget and stuff. You're like, I could dream about doing that. But it's like when I see a movie like Evil Dead or like Reservoir Dogs or like these low budget indie movies, you're just like, yeah, I can do that. For Canyons News, I'm Anthony Riley.